guys, this is Shannon with Shannon McTie Photography. I just wanted to show you how to use the Portrait Retouch Collection, the part where it says Frequency Separation Method 3. So this one is my favorite way to do frequency separation on skin. I, I think it does a wonderful job. It gets it where the skin is nice and creamy, but you still have the details. So the only thing you do is you click on Perfect Texture, hit Play, and hit Continue. And now at this point, you'll see over here it says perfect texture and you have detail and blur. Blur is highlighted and it's highlighted for a reason so that you work on this layer. You do not want to work on this layer at all. The detail layer is there just to maintain detail of their skin, but you don't work on it. So keep the blur layer highlighted and come over here to the lasso tool. And you're just, we're going to zoom in. And you're just going to start lassoing the skin that you want to do the frequency separation on. The biggest thing is to keep in mind you don't want to go like outside the line like of the eyebrow or the nose or the lips or the hair. Anywhere that you don't want it blurred. Just on the skin itself. So once you have lassoed a, a portion of the skin, you'll come up here to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And as a rule of thumb, I usually keep my radius between like 5 and 20 or 25. I would not go over 25. It'll look very fake if you do that. My usual go-to is about 12 or 13. And then you just hit OK. And from here on out, the Gaussian blur will always stay at 13. So then you can just come over here and just keep lassoing. So like there. And it doesn't have to be perfect as long as you're not going outside the lines. It does a nice job feathering. And you just keep hitting Gaussian blur every time. Whoops, see I went outside the chin just a little bit. I'm, I am not going to do that, there we go. Filter, Gaussian blur. We'll do the same over here. And their skin is really pretty to begin with. Um, but it'll help smooth it out. Perfect. Select, deselect. Now that I've done that, I'm going to come over here and turn it on and off so you can see the difference. You're really going to be able to see it on her face. So I'm going to turn the eye off and back on. Off and back on. And you can see that not only is it smoother, it's still keeping the texture of the skin. It's also evening the highlights and shadows. I'll turn it off one more time and back on. And then at that point you just go and flatten it and you're done.